हे गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो फ्रॉम टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग लीड कोड डिसम्बर चैलेंज सो वील बी फॉलोइंग द डिसम्बर लीड कोड चैलेंज इन कमिंग डेज सो फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम टुडे इज मिनिमम एवरेज डिफरेंस वेरी इजी प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट वी आर गिवन इज वी आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इंटीजर एरे नम्स ऑफ लेंथ एन द एवरेज डिस्टेंस ऑफ इंडेक्स आई इज द एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस between the average of first i plus 1 elements and the average of last n minus i minus 1 elements so basically what they are saying is if we have some elements let's say a b c d e f and this is uh, the current index so the average absolute dif the average difference here will be the different uh, the average of a plus b plus c divided by 3 this uh, this average minus this average d plus e plus f divided by 3 why 3 because there are three elements right three elements so whatever this difference comes this is the this is the absolute difference uh, this is the average difference at index i at index i okay so this is what they are saying so we have to return the index with the minimum average difference so we will be finding out this average difference at each index this index this index this index and this this and this and wherever the average difference is minimum that index we have to return if there are multiple such indices uh, indices return the smallest one all right so this is what the problem is now let's see the test case which they have given let's see the test case and understand more so uh, the test case is 253253953953 so what uh, i'll start from i'll do indexing for 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we will start from here here what is the uh, first of all we will be this is for index 0 right i is equal to 0 because we have to find the average difference average difference at each index okay so first of all we are starting with zeroth index so here average difference will be what 2 divided by 1 because there is one element this is the average minus average of the rest of the uh, like uh, we are currently i plus 1 elements and average of the last n minus i minus 1 so i plus 1 that is i is 0 here right so 0 plus 1 elements that is one element which is this one and n minus i minus 1 which is n is what total number of elements which are 6 so 6 minus i i is what 0 0 minus 1 which is 5 so rest of the five elements 1 2 3 4 5 so what is this what is the sum of the rest of the five elements 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 9 17 uh, 22 and 25 so 25 divided by number of elements are 5 this is the average so what will be this difference 2 minus 5 which is minus 3 but we have to take the absolute difference so this will be absolute will be absolute of this will be 3 so for this index the average difference is coming out to be 3 so we will have a variable minimum uh, average difference which will store the difference so right now the difference is 3 okay now we will move to the next index which is i is equal to 1 we will move to i is equal to 1 okay so now guys see when we move to i is equal to 1 we have to find the average of this and find average of from here to here now we have to find the sum that is 2 plus 5 this sum we want to have we want to know 2 plus 5 divided by what there are two elements 2 minus this sum this sum right which is 3 Plus nine plus five plus three divided by there are four elements. Okay. Now every time, see every time for each index, right? Right now we are here. When we will go here, we will need this sum. When when we will go here, we will need this sum, right? So 
every time we will not run a loop to find out the sum because that will not be efficient right always because obviously for example when you are here you will you will run a loop to find this sum then when you are here you will run a loop to find this sum this is not efficient right we are repeating again and again the same thing there is a more efficient way in which we can keep the sum <clears throat> okay so first of all what i'll do we will be storing the total sum first of all we will find out the total sum of this array so total sum of this array is 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 9 19 19 9 24 and 26 7 27 okay total sum is 27 so when we will go when we will keep a sum we will keep two variables sum from end sum from start and sum from end okay that is basically sum from start is the sum of this half and sum from end is the sum of this half okay so first of all initially both will be uh, this will be zero and sum from end will be this sum total sum all right now see what we will do when we will when we will come to this index right i is equal to 0 this 2 i will add here and from 27 i will subtract this 2 i will subtract this 2 okay you might be thinking why because see when we are here if you carefully see when we were here we were checking for this 2 so this sum was 2 and the rest of the sum was subtracting this 2 from the rest of the sum so rest of the total sum of the array was 27 subtracting this 2 from that will give us the sum which is the rest of the array right so that is same thing which we are doing here this 2 will be sum from start and from the rest of the array we are just subtracting this 2 which will give us 25 that is the second half sum so in this way we will be we will not calculate we will not run a for loop to find out this sum we will simply know from because we have already calculated the total sum of the array we will just simply subtract the current element sum from the total sum and we'll get the sum of the rest of the uh, part of the array you will understand more don't worry so let's now see when we will come here so right now i'll just update these values so here right now sum from start is 2 and this is 25 now we will go to index 1 we will go to index 1 so for index 1 it will be divided like this this will be 1 this will be 1 so see this is the current index which we are at i is equal to 1 1 index we are at so 5 will add here and 5 i will subtract here why because 5 is now in the this half and 5 since 5 is now in this half it will be subtracted subtracted from the sum which was this one so this will become 7 and this will become 20 so they like, see 12 plus 5 17 and 17 3 20 so this is fine right so 7 divided by this will be what what will be this value here total elements so how we'll get the total elements it will be i plus 1 i plus 1 minus uh this sum 20 divided by divided by what are the rest of the elements rest of the elements are these n minus i minus 1 so see 7 divided by what is i i is 1 1 plus 1 2 2 elements minus 20 divided by n is 6 minus i is 1 minus 1 so 6 minus 2 which is 4 so 1 2 3 4 so this will be 7 divided by 2 will be what 3 minus 20 divided by 4 will be what 5 so this will give you minus 2 but we have to take absolute so this will be 2 so 2 is smaller than this 3 so average we have to take the minimum we have to find the minimum average difference right so we will update this value to 2 because 2 is smaller than 3 okay now let's 
move further let's move further so i'll uh, do few more iterations so i is equal to what 2 now so i is equal to 2 it means here it will be divided like this uh, okay here something like this so we are currently at this index this 3 value we will add here which will be 10 minus 3 we will do here because 3 is now in the first half so this will be 17 so see 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 3 10 and 9 plus 5 12 12 plus 3 17 which is fine so now what will be the sum 10 divided by i plus 1 i plus 1 i is 2 2 plus 1 3 minus 17 divided by n minus i minus 1 n is 6 minus i is 2 minus 1 this will give 3 so this will be 10 divided by 3 is 3 minus 17 divided by 3 is 5 this will be what 2 again so it's already a minimum average difference is 2 only and this is also 2 so we will not update it then we will go to the next index i is equal to 3 so i is equal to 3 will be something like this ok i is equal to 3 will be something like this so now what we will do uh, th uh, element and index 3 is what 9 so 9 will be added here 9 will be subtracted here so this will become 19 and this will become this will become 8 so 19 divided by i plus 1 i plus 1 is 4 minus 8 divided by n minus i minus 1 which is 2 so this will become 4 divided by 19 is 4 4 minus 8 divided by 2 is 4 so this will give you 0 now minimum absolute uh, average difference will come because 0 is less than 2 so it will get updated to 0 okay and similarly you can try for i is equal to 4 also and i is equal to 5 also but the minimum average difference will be 0 for this problem hence 0 will be the output 0 will be the output now you have to return the see you have to return the index where the return the index where absolute minimum difference was there so 0 was at which index at index 3 so output will be 3 ok output is 3 so this is how you can uh, this is how we will approach the problem so let's quickly see the code for this so what we have done is we have taken a few variables n which is the size of this nums initialized so this is how you initialize a value like this is a variable and this is the value with which we want to initialize this variable so size of nums size of nums is 6 so n will be 6 minimum average difference variable we are taking initially we will giving it max value because we have to store minimum so we will initialize it with maximum whatever maximum we have and index which will store the index which will return then we will be taking two more variables so these two variables sum from start and sum from end sum from start uh, from from front will be zero initially and this is also initially zero but we will calculate the sum of the array and we will uh, store that sum in this sum from end variable right initially we have taken so this sum from end is 27 which was the sum of the array after that same thing which we are doing we are uh, going to each index we find the sum we add the current element in this we add the current element from uh, in this variable and we subtract the current element from this variable we find the first uh, uh, this sum we find this sum and then we find this sum so a is your this sum and b is your this sum okay and then after that uh, if the current absolute of this a minus b is absolute value is less than the average difference just update the average difference and update the index okay it's so very easy and uh, time complexity is o of n because we are doing a single traversal and space is constant we are not using any extra space okay this is a time and space complexity so I hope the problem was clear and the approach. Uh, if you found the video helpful, please like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.